Uranium, a material that strikes unease in our collective consciousness, has long been the focus of nuclear technology. However, there may be a safer alternative thorium. This video explores the potential of thorium molten salt reactors, a technology that is gaining momentum, particularly in China. Thorium has several advantages over uranium. It is more abundant, produces less radioactive waste, and is harder to weaponize. China has taken the lead in developing thorium molten salt reactors, with the world's first such reactor scheduled to come online by 2029. Molten salt reactors are a unique type of nuclear reactor where the fuel or coolant is a molten salt mixture. This design offers several safety advantages over traditional solid fuel reactors. China has declared that they are building 450 nuclear power plants. The net cost effective of electricity production from a nuclear power plant is somewhere between 1 and 5 cents per kilowatt hour, while the US on average is paying 11 to 15 cents per kilowatt hour. American scientists are shocked by China's latest nuclear reactor breakthrough, which could completely change the future of China and our entire planet. Thorium's advantage lies in its ability to be bred into a fissile material, uranium-233, through a process of neutron capture and radioactive decay. This means that thorium-based reactors can operate in a self-sustaining fuel cycle, reducing the need for uranium enrichment and the production of plutonium, which can be used in nuclear weapons. China's investments in thorium molten salt reactor technology are part of a broader strategy to reduce the country's reliance on fossil fuels and develop a sustainable, low-carbon energy mix. The country's plans include the construction of larger commercial thorium reactors, as well as the integration of these reactors with other renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power. Unlike traditional nuclear power plants that require water for cooling, the thorium molten salt reactor doesn't need any water. The thorium is dissolved in a molten salt mixture, giving the reactor its name. The liquid molten salt fuel acts as a natural passive cooling system, making it suitable for construction in dry and arid areas such as the Gobi Desert. This feature makes this new reactor type particularly interesting for China to power its belt and road infrastructure project in off-grid areas without access to water supply. Another exceptional feature of this new reactor is its ability to burn uranium-238, the toxic nuclear waste produced by conventional nuclear reactors. As nuclear nations are struggling to solve the repository problem, China can use its new thorium reactor to convert nuclear waste into clean, carbon-neutral energy. Additionally, the technology is considered extremely safe as the reactor can regulate its temperature itself to avoid dangerous meltdown situations. China's one-party governance allows long-term planning and fast decision-making, which has enabled the country to build this reactor so quickly while other nations are lagging behind. China's high-speed rail project is a testament to this efficiency, as it was up and running in just a few years after the decision was made. China plans to export its new reactor type along with its Belt and Road project and build 30 new reactors by 2030. With its abundant thorium supply and new thorium reactor technology, China is about to leverage another type of technology that has the potential to change the world. The increasing importance of clean, carbon-neutral energy in the global economy is a significant factor. Conflicts like the Russian-Ukraine war have led to a massive surge in energy prices and showcased how reliant European nations are on Russian energy. The thorium molten salt reactor would be a perfect alternative to decouple from Russian gas, as it is a carbon-free energy source that is safe and clean compared to conventional nuclear power plants. While nuclear fusion is another carbon-free energy source and considered the holy grail of energy, scientists have been unable to harness this type of energy for more than 50 years. However, German scientists have made a major new breakthrough with a new fusion reactor design that was only possible with the help of AI. This technology could also have a significant impact on the global energy landscape. The United States was actually the first to discover thorium nuclear technology. Scientists at the Oak Ridge Laboratory built a molten salt reactor in the 1960s that proved the practical use of thorium. However, the development of these reactors was hindered for a few reasons. One reason was low military interest, as molten salt reactors are not suitable to produce weapons-grade plutonium and uranium, which are needed to build nuclear weapons. A strong nuclear arsenal was indispensable for the US during the Cold War with the Soviet Union, so the thorium reactor never made it to commercialization. As it turns out, molten salt reactors are an excellent option for clean and safe nuclear energy generation. Thorium is a low radioactive material in its naturally occurring form, so it is unsuitable for nuclear fission and must be transmuted in a thorium fuel cycle. The fertile isotope thorium-232 is transmitted into thorium-233 by absorbing a neutron from an external neutron source. 
A thorium molten salt reactor can integrate nuclear waste by using highly radioactive plutonium and other actinides from spent fuel to kickstart the reactor. As the reactor operates, it not only produces energy but also transmutes nuclear waste into less problematic isotopes, simultaneously converting thorium into fissile uranium-233 to further fuel the reactor. India, which accounts for 25% of the world's known thorium reserves and is home to the world's largest natural thorium supply, introduced a three-stage nuclear power program in the 1950s to secure the nation's energy independence and supply its massive growing population. However, due to economic, technological, and infrastructural challenges, there were massive delays in the energy program. Developing a new reactor technology requires not just research but also infrastructure, training, and a skilled workforce. This is where China has some major advantages. Thorium is a byproduct of the rare earth mining industry, and China is by far the largest producer of usable rare earth metals, accounting for 60% of rare earth mining and 85% of rare earth processing. This gives China a significant supply of thorium, which is the main reason why the country is relentlessly pushing the construction and commercialization of thorium reactors, as it has the potential to give the country unlimited energy by leveraging its thorium supply. Moreover, with China's goal of becoming carbon neutral by 2060, the thorium reactor is just one part of its bigger nuclear program. The nation has invested a whopping $440 billion in its nuclear buildup and plans to build at least 150 new reactors, which is more reactors than the rest of the world has built over the past 35 years combined. Another exceptional feature of this new reactor is its ability to burn uranium-238, the toxic nuclear waste produced by conventional nuclear reactors. As nuclear nations are struggling to solve the repository problem, China can use its new thorium reactor to convert nuclear waste into clean, carbon-neutral energy. Additionally, the technology is considered extremely safe as the reactor can regulate its temperature itself to avoid dangerous meltdown situations. China's one-party governance allows long-term planning and fast decision-making, which has enabled the country to build this reactor so quickly while other nations are lagging behind. China plans to export its new reactor type along with its Belt and Road project and build 30 new reactors by 2030. With its abundant thorium supply and new thorium reactor technology, China is about to leverage another type of technology that has the potential to change the world. The increasing importance of clean, carbon-neutral energy in the global economy is a significant factor. Conflicts like the Russian-Ukraine war have led to a massive surge in energy prices and showcased how reliant European nations are on Russian energy. The thorium molten salt reactor would be a perfect alternative to decouple from Russian gas, as it is a carbon-free energy source that is safe and clean compared to conventional nuclear power plants. This technology could also have a significant impact on the global energy landscape. Overall, the development of thorium molten salt reactors in China represents a significant milestone in advanced nuclear technologies. By connecting these new reactors with its vast wind and solar farms, China will have a baseload capable renewable energy grid and be the world leader in green energy production. The potential benefits of this technology, including its safety, efficiency, and ability to address the nuclear waste problem, make it a compelling prospect for the future of energy production. As the world continues to grapple with the challenges of climate change and energy security, technological breakthroughs like the thorium molten salt reactor and fusion energy could play a crucial role in shaping the global energy landscape. While China's rapid progress in this area may raise concerns among other nations, it also presents an opportunity for international collaboration and the sharing of knowledge to accelerate the development of these transformative technologies. The race is on, and the outcome could have far-reaching implications for the future of our planet. What do you guys think about China new nuclear plants? Do you think this can be a game-changer for the China and the world? Please leave your comments below we would love to hear what you think. Thank you for making it this far. If you like this video, you might want to share it with a like-minded friend. Thank you and as always stay blessed.